I thought I was recording, I guess I didn't. <laughs> no, go ahead. Oh, uh, it's a stingray. Two of them. Hey, eh, you showing off. <laughs> Uh, we brought it just on over here. The thoughts on the road. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. I think I got a Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. Hey, what's up, guys? I know it's been a minute since I've posted a whole video. It has been crazy, crazy, crazy of a brand new 2022 year. For us, it's been, wow. Uh, <laughs> I guess 2022 wanted to test us to see our fortitude, to see what we would do and how we would handle the pressure. A uh, few of the things that have gone crazy or wrong at the shop, you know, in life as well. Um, my big walk-in freezer crapped out on us on the weekend. We saw it kind of messing up, so we tried to get some help the week prior. Um, but with the holidays, we got no, no responses and so forth. And so by the time it came the, the following week, we were in really bad, hurting ways. So we started looking at ways to try to salvage some bait. And we were able to salvage some of it. But we end up losing probably close to 500 pounds, if not a little more than that, because after salvaging what we could, we just had nowhere else to store the bait. So we end up losing it. So on top of that, um, my oldest daughter got into a car wreck, and thank God she is okay. Her and her friend are, are okay. They little banged up and bruised up, but that is way more precious to, than any item out there uh, so we we're very blessed on that one and now we're trying to figure out how to get the walk-in freezer back up and running because they are telling us it's going to probably be a few weeks before the part can even come in and as of right now we still don't know what the quote or pricing will be to get it back up and running so it's kind of a uh, lost in the sauce right now which really does um, it, it's not good for us but we will keep on trucking and so with this video I did not want to stay on everything bad because if you look at that horizon right there the sun's about to go down we are on causeway pier for the first annual drum well not first annual but first of this year drum tournament for causeway pier um, with my Teach a Man to Fish series, I am definitely interested in a multitude of things. And one of the things with our channel is always trying to keep it real, whether it's good or it's bad, because that's what it is. We don't like sugarcoating things because then when we do, we get we, you can get called out on it. I don't like getting called out. I like to know where we're at. And if I don't know the knowledge, then that's the beauty of our channel everyone can chime in and help out and pass on some knowledge now for those guys that are telling me not to do this not to like not to share the knowledge on things that can help others i'm sorry guys this ain't that channel this is the channel that whether it's you know something i can help you with with your home with your car or with business with i mean saving money is what this channel is mainly about and by saving money is learning the knowledge and passing it on we've made a lot of mistakes in our fishing career and for us um, that's where I really wanted to concentrate on was showing what it really takes to get to where we go um, a lot of that is a lot of these channels just show you a finished product of catching these monster fish but I want to go more further in depth than that I want to show you time effort you know cost of what it takes for us to get to those those monster catches and you know we're we're known for catching monster sized fish and multitudes of fish and all of that but i want to take it more than that i want to i want to really bring you in to the inner circle of what we do to get there the path we have taken 
you know, how many times we got to cast out, um, you know, how many times we make the trips to those piers or to those areas. There's so many things that get worked into this equation to produce a monster catch. So we want our YouTubers to know what it really takes for it to happen. You know, we can't always go out and just hook up monster fish, but I don't want to keep yapping here when I'm hooked up right there. So let's check this out. Well, like I said, <clears throat> this is the first fish of the 2022 year for me. First one for the tournament. I had literally just gotten there, first cast. Oh, okay. Thank you. Lineup of these rods. And, yep, this is great. I've only been here a few minutes, or maybe 15 in total. Yeah. And um, yeah. I've got right my there. first fish. Awesome. Now, to keep it rolling and see what else we can do.
I might just put down in the water and let y'all fish with it. <laughs> uh, I used to have up where it says 55, 65, uh, 10,000. That was cool. Yeah. So I caught big fish and stuff, but once I, they introduced me to these, it was like, holy smokes. Oh man, it was like turning on the, the lights and the roaches scattering. I'm talking landing big, like 50 inch bull reds, uh, seven, eight foot sharks, just demolishing fish. I've got pictures of 50 something inch kingfish pulled in with this little reel here. No worries, like maybe three to four minutes to the pier. I'm setting up the SX Raptor neck so I can let these guys test them out and put the gear in hand so that way they can see what it really looks like and so forth and yep. I'm gonna live right there on the south side. They're uh, near the yeah, I live right behind the Pipeline or what? <laughs> <laughs> the big pipeline. Oh. Pipeline won't come to us, I'll drink a few <laughs> No shit. For the pure movie. Yeah, I'm 
was there. <laughs> if it didn't bust with that shit, then. You want to give it a shot? real slow. You can crank as fast as you want, just see how it's kind of lining itself up, oh, and then you just barely push it out to the right or left. Oh, okay. That way you can get more line on it. Yeah. And the beauty of that is, as you see, it don't back Yeah. Now when it does, since it's not a solid braid, you can actually get it undone and you can keep fishing with it. That's my first time. There you go. You didn't get me hooked? Nah. <laughs> I did come fishing. <laughs> so you hold you hold the spool. This goes all the way down to free spool. And when you cast, let it go. Just you don't have to you don't thumb it. That's one of my oldest reels right there. That one's probably 12 years old. It's been cleaned one time. And then when you reel in, just kind of like let it guide itself. That's how fast you reel back and forth. You don't have to go back and forth. Fast. Yeah, that's, that's those are the Raptors. They have a G2 series. They had a G1 series, but they already discontinued down because of the COVID. They can't keep up with the demand for the reel. So now they got a G2 series. Pretty smooth, huh?